on today. So today we're down here at the Lower Salt. Um, we're down in a section we haven't fished in quite a while. So we're going to give it a shot, see what's going on. I caught my first and only ever smallie out of this section of the river. So who knows, there might be some more, there might not be. But we're just going to give it a try and see what's going on. Got our fly rod with us today, a couple flies. And we got some company on the river. We got some feral horses out here feeding around. So we'll see how we do today. So we're going to start out today throwing a little semi seal around in here, just a little search pattern, see if anything's ready to eat. We've got a, my Diamondback Americana today, nine foot six weight. This was the third fly rod I ever bought. I haven't fished it very much at all, so it's almost brand new. It's a two piece, so I don't fish it a lot. So we're going to see how we do with it today. Water looks super shallow in here, so we might we might move on to some of these deeper pools. But up against this bank over here, just look kind of good, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Usually we don't get to fish this river this late in the year because they've already started up in the flows. So it's kind of a treat if we catch some fish. But we'll walk downstream and see what we can find. I forgot how well this rod casts. I'm not casting very well right now, but it's actually a nice little rod. A little bit slower action than like my method, but it's not a bad little rod. All right, I think we're gonna move on downstream to these deeper pools, see if they're holding any fish. We made it down to the first little pool that's over here. You know, it's at a closed recreation site, so the only, the only way to get a vehicle down in here is to work for like Forest Service or Sheriff's Department. Looks like we got a couple bass cruising in here. Yeah. Let's make a few casts and see what we can do. Not a bad sized little bass right there. We'll see if they're as spooky as the ones on the others in the other holes that we found. He didn't even look at that fly. Might run into the same issue. Oh, we got a chaser. Oh, oh, we had a fish on. Wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the other bass. Ah, wasn't even paying attention. Did you hate when that happens? We chased it out of that little fast moving current right there. Had another one chase it, but he turned off of it. Hmm. All right, so let's see if we can't put up into that current. Let's see if there's anything in there that are willing to play with us. Let's figure these fish out, guys. This wind in our face isn't really helping much. We got a big old carp up shallow. Just had a fish swim at it and turn away.
Hmm. You got fish looking at it. That's a pus. But nothing wanting to eat it yet, so let's keep trying. Let's put it right up in there. See if anything's up in there. Oh, fish on. There we go. That's a good little jump. All right. There we go. Nice little largemouth start out the day. I don't want to get too close to the water. All right. Here we go. Cute little largemouth for the river. Get him back in there. He had a lot of buddies with him, so Let's see how this goes. Let's walk down this bank a little bit. Not happening over here. We'll go to the other side. Well, at least we caught one fish so far. It's a good day. I'll try out this little mop fly. I know. There's a possibility we might hook a carp on it, uh, but that's, I guess that's what we're gonna have to willing to do. This pool is tough because it drops off really quick and it's harder to fish. So we're gonna head on down to the end of it and see what we can see and then maybe work around. So carp jump. The horse is not happy. Got some fish cruising around in here. Can't 100% say what they are. Let's make a few casts and see what we get. Big old sucker right there, wow. That was a nice size fish that chased it. I don't know what it was. Nice size fish though. I'm gonna leave this on for a few more minutes and then change flies again. Just trying to see, saw that one bluegill up. Hopefully there'd be more. Maybe one of these carp would eat this damn mop fly. That's not working out for us. Watch frog water over here. Let's see what's over here. Big old carp. Not spooking. I think that's a carp. Maybe not. Let's see if there's anything in here. Something just darted. Got a fish on. All right, there we go. A little largey. He must have hit the minute that thing hit the water. All right, on the mop fly. I think that's my first fish ever on a mop fly. Come on. All right. A little large mouth. Cute little guy. Let's see if he had any friends. Yeah, that fish must have hit the minute it hit the water. Let's 
try something a little bit smaller in there and see. Tied on that little hairs here that we're catching the yellow bass with. Let's see if these little guys want to play with that. I might have moved out of here after I caught that one. Oh, nope, there's one. Fish on. Oh, it's a bluegill. All right. Got us a nice little gill. Pretty guy, too, all colored up. Look at him. Little pretty guy. Get him back in the water. Oh, that was a bigger fish. What was that? That was like a good sized largemouth. Where'd he come from? For fun, I kind of want to put it on a top water and throw it in there and see what happens. See if anything can come up and blow up on it. I'm going to throw this little top water in there. little green, got a little black on the bottom of it. Just see what happens. If we can cast it. Oh, did you guys see that? Oh, little fish came out of the back there and just freaking chomped it. I didn't let him take it. Man. This thing walks really good. Let's go try in some other areas. If we get the action just right, this thing walks like crazy. That'll get your heart pumping. Oh, dang it, fish on. Oh, oh, he hit it as soon as it hit the water. Wasn't even paying attention. As soon as it hit the water, he came up and nailed that thing. Heck yeah. Boom, look at that. Little top water frog, fish. My little homemade popping frog. Man, I gotta get him unhooked. There we go. All right. That little guy. I mean, look at that fly. Oh, this might be fun. Let's see if we can't catch a few more like that. These little rocks over here look really good. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see if we can make a cast over there.
Hmm. Oh, fish on. Wasn't even paying attention. I guess they wanted paused. <laughs> Was trying to move spots. He came up and hammered it. Ah, quick release. All right, so let's try that. We're gonna pop it a couple times and then pause it. <clears throat> Getting back up the stream a little bit. And try these little poppers and this little hopper around in here and see what happens. Might, since the wind's bothering me, might cast it over there and let it just float down the river. We'll see. There's a nice size bass over there. Oh, got one. I was watching that other bass and this little guy came up and ate it. Look at that. Darn it. Look at that cute little guy. Oh, Andy gone. <clears throat> Let's see if any of the little bass in the back of this pool want to play with a little top water action. They're still here, but there were quite a few of them tucked up in this back pocket here. Well, let's keep going along the bank here and see if you can't find some. These little guys are the reason you gotta be careful out here on the river. Look at that little guy, he's got himself a little meal. A little bird. He's content, but man, walk right up on him. Since we got a couple hits on that popper, I put on a crease fly down to a little semi-seal leech. I'm gonna toss this around in here and see if anything wants to play with it. See how bad my casting is gonna be with this heavy setup. But this might be my time to catch fish on the crease fly finally. This wind, this might not be the ticket. A little guy. There we go. Oh, got a little jumper. All right. Came up and hit the crease fly and got the semi seal. So I put that on there. There we go. Cute little river bass. All right, a little setup there. There 
goes. All right, it's time to head back to the truck. But I mean, as we're going, we might as well fish this little spot here. Got him. See? I always fish the last little spot. Boom. Ah. Little guy. Those little guys are wiry. All right, made it back to the truck, finally. Man, that was a fun day out on the water. Anytime you get those little bass, no matter the size to hit little top water, it's a blast. Caught a couple of fish, spent a lot of time trying to chase some carp. Um, couldn't get them to eat anything. They were just stacked in there. Overall, it was a fun day. The little rattlesnake bat out there eating that bird. It's crazy to see how brutal nature really is. But thanks again for watching, everybody. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like the videos. Leave a comment down there what you want to see us do next. Um, Probably not going to fish tomorrow, but we are going to do something on Sunday. We're probably going to head up north and do something on Sunday. So thanks again, everybody. Hope you have a great weekend, and we'll see you later. <laughs>